the channel today for you guys. I'm going to be doing the most crazy car story that you've ever heard. Let's get started. to get into the garage was locked and I could not get my car out and I was going to be late for school and I could not get this freaking door open whatsoever and so I called my mom I'm like I'm going to be late for school I can't get my car out of the garage and she's like okay well the truck key is in my dresser drawer blah 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 take my truck and I'm like, okay, great, thanks. Not even five minutes later, she sends me a long, long death threat text if I so much as ding her precious truck. So, keep that in mind. Um, I drove to school and, and if you know or you have a friend, um, community colleges are small, um, parking spots are scarce, and it's like vulture is swarming it, swarming their prey that has been killed. And so you get the first parking spot you see, because you know there will not be another one. And so there was this glorious parking spot right next to my building and so prior to this I am used to driving a tiny 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 Toyota car um not a massive truck so keep that in mind also so I swing into this parking spot there's a left hand turn into the parking spot and I get stuck and so I back out, go out. Um, yeah, I I just kept digging myself in a deeper hole. And I went forward. And so there's a green truck in front of me, two smaller cars on either side of me. And I pull forward. And all of a sudden, the green truck in front of me starts shaking. And I'm like, oh, crap. I just hit that car. And so I get out and I look in front of me. There is this much of a gap. No joke. Um, and so I'm like, okay, okay. Deep breaths. Death threat of a text is still in my head. I'm like, my mom is going to have my head hanging on her wall. And so I pull out again try to get out, but my rear end, so the bed of the truck, is so dang close to the person on my left. I'm like, I can't get out that way, but I can't turn my wheel to the right to go out this way, because otherwise the side of my truck will hit their car. I can't pull forward because there's a green truck in front of me that I'm already shaking. And so thankfully, I went to school early. I have like 30, 45 minutes before class and so I look and um, I am 
time during a class period, and so there's not many people out. And so I look, and there's two people walking the sidewalks, a girl or a guy. And it's a no-brainer. Who do you choose? The guy. You don't ask the girl for help to unpark a very, very stuck truck. And so I get out of the car, leave all doors open, unlock, I just ditch the truck, um, and I go up to the guy, and I'm like, so how good are you about unparking a car, a truck? And he's like, I'm pretty good at my truck. I'm like, great, I need your help to get my truck unstuck. And he's like, okay. And so he comes, and I got this truck so stuck, you cannot access the door on the driver's side. So the driver's door, you cannot get open. The pass, the passenger behind the driver, you cannot get open. The only way to get in this car or truck is by the passenger door or the passenger behind the passenger door. And so the dude crawls through the passenger to the driver's seat and I crawl in the truck because also in my head I'm like, this guy is going to steal this truck. And so I just didn't want to stand out in the parking lot while he undid the truck and take off with it. And so I hop in the truck too and he's like, okay, let's see. So he puts it in the drive, he goes forward, the green truck shakes so much and he's like, oh, that's not going to work. He backs it up. He's like, Ooh, and he looks over at the car next to him. He's like, that's not going to work. And like, during all of this, he is so calm. I am freaking out. He's like, man, this is a nice truck. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's my mom's. <laughs> Please get it unstuck. And he's like, nice leather. What's the gas mileage? What year is this made? Ooh, King Ranch, that's a good brand. I'm like, yeah. And so he goes back and forth, back and forth, um, going forward, and back and forth, and back and forth. And he's like, man. He's like, hmm. He tugs on the mirrors on the side. And he's like, so he's like, do these mirrors go in? I'm like, yes, yes, they do. You're a genius. Up on the passenger seat. Reach over, this poor dude. And press on the window, the button, to retract the mirrors. So, after that, he finally gets this truck out. I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for not allowing any dings on the left car, right car, green truck. And that green truck, like, in the bed of the uh, truck, there's, like, water. And so, every time... Every time he would move my truck, it would like slosh. So I lost the other part of the footage, and so that is why I'm in different clothes in the middle of the video. So where I left off was he finally gets the, my truck out of the parking spot, and he's like, all right, there you go. And I'm like, hold up, I still got part this truck. And I'm like, um, can you park this for me? He's like, yeah, sure, I know a place where you can park it. It's so much better for trucks. I'm like, great, thanks. And so we were in one parking lot, and then there's a parking lot on, like, a couple, half a mile, not even a mile, I don't know, another parking spot, another side of campus. And as we're driving there, he's driving, I'm on the passenger side, I'm like, hold up, in my head. I'm like, did I make this guy late for his class? And I'm like, are you late for class? He's like, oh no, I've been done. I'm like, phew, thank goodness. And he's like, are you late? Oh no. Um, he's asking me if I was late. I'm like, oh no, I got like 15 more minutes or so. And he's like, all right, great. So he goes over to the other parking lot and flawlessly backs in that big gigantic truck. Backwards, guys. Backwards. And it was perfect in the lines. No problem whatsoever. And I'm like, dang. And so he hops out. And I'm like, thank 
thank you so much. And he's like, no problem. Um, so he grabs his backpack out of the bed of my truck because he flung it in there when he helped me. And so I go to class and guess what happens afterwards? After class, I come out to the parking spot. Guess what is on my windshield? A freaking ticket. I got a ticket because my parking permit is on my car um, and it's a sticker. So it's not like removable where I can just plop it right on the truck. So I got a ticket for parking on Blinn property without a permit and I had to pay a $40 ticket. Yay me. Anyways, guys, that was my crazy campus parking lot truck story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you have a crazy either driving experience, car story, anything of the sorts. And if my comments are turned off, you can DM me on Instagram at... And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!